morning. I hope you're having a great day. We are going to focus today on our, our learning target, uh, identifying individual words to predict the meaning of compound words, um, such as birdhouse, if you look up here on the board, lighthouse, housefly, and bookshelf. Now, we know some of those words that are familiar to us, but you're saying to yourself, well, I know what a bird is. I know what a house is. But you can take those two words and put them together and make a new and unique word. So our success criteria today is that you are going to create a compound word using individual words and that you can draw pictures and explain the meaning of those compound words. So I want you to go ahead and look. Remember yesterday we read the story called Things with Wings. Um, and some of our sight words that were in this book actually had compound words in it. So let's go ahead and just read those words and then find some of those compound words that were in this text that we read. Animal, bigger, butterflies. Yes, that is one. If you take the word butter and flies and separate the two, they're individual words. But when you put them together, they make a unique word. Like butterfly, we all love butterflies. Communicate, flap, flutter, glide. Hummingbird is another compound word. Hum, Miss Proctor likes to hum. Mm, it's where you're making music from your mouth, but you don't have your mouth opened up, and then you have the word bird. It's a type of animal that has wings. Put them together, and it makes hummingbird. And hummingbird is a small little bird that moves his wings like 50, I think it said 50 times per second in the text that we read yesterday. Ostrich, it's a very tall bird with a very long neck. Soar, super size. There you go, another compound word. You can take the word super, and you can take the word sized. Put them together and make a unique word. Swoop, teeny, tiny, tougher, wings, and whoosh. That's the sound. That's a word sound when the bird is maybe swooping or whooshing through the air. That's the sound they make. So it's a sound word. All right. So we're going to go ahead and look at our compound words today. We're going to read compound words. All right, so let me go ahead and move this up here. <clears throat> so we're going to sort the words. So we need to find, a, we have a photograph. It's easy peasy. It's lemon squeezy. So we have a picture of a pancake. Do you think that's an example of a compound word or a non-example? And that's right. It is an example of a compound word. You're going to take the word pan. You're going to take the word cake, put it together, and make a unique word, pancake. What about the word star? Star is actually not a compound word. So that's right. You would put it on a non-example. It's not a compound word. Now, this is a bathtub. You take the word bath and you take the word tub. You can use the word bath by itself. You can use the word tub by itself. But if you put them together, it makes a unique word. And it's bathtub. That's right. It's an example of compound word. All right. Oh, we all love rainbows. Rainbows happen after the rain and the sun is shining. You can take the word rain, take the word rain and take the word bow. You know, sometimes guys wear little bow ties on their suits. Put those two together. Makes rainbow. And that's right. It's an example of a compound word. All right. What about a carrot? That's a vegetable. Carrot. It has two syllables, carrot, but it's not um, it's not a compound word. So we're going to put that in a non-example. All right. So. All right. So let's look at some words and let's see if we can figure out what the new word would be. All right. Here. Let's look at the pitch, uh, words. We don't have pictures this time. These are words. Gold. There's a picture of the gold fish. So if I put those two together. That's right. If I put gold and fish together, the new word would be goldfish. It's a it describes the type of fish that you might see in a fish aquarium. Gold is m money that, that you can use to spend. And then um, fish 
um, might be a different type of fish, but this one describes the type of fish that you would see like in a fish aquarium or like a fish bowl. There it is. There's a goldfish. All right. So compound words, two words. Let's look at these in detail here. We have sun. Okay. You see that in the sky. And then Miss Proctor's favorite. You guys know I love some flowers. If you put those two together, put sunflower. It's a unique word. And it actually describes this particular type of flower which is called a sunflower. It's usually yellow petals with a black or brown middle part, sunflower. All right, and yes, we've already went over this one. Look at the individual words, rain. We get that sometimes in the spring, lots of rain. And then bow, maybe something that a, a gentleman might wear on his shirt to, to make him look a little bit more dressed up when he wears a suit. Put them together and you have a unique word that describes um, something you might see in the sky, um, a rainbow that happens after it rains and the sun is shining and it creates a rainbow in the sky. All right, let's do the next one. Ah, bath. There's that word, individual word. It's in green, bath. And then you have the word tub. Not everybody has a tub. Some people might just have a shower, but you put those two together and it describes this picture right here, which is a bath tub. All right, let's do that one. Oh my goodness. Ah, this is my favorite at our house. We love us some pancakes. Pan, it would describe um, what you could cook in, like a pot or a pan. And then cakes. Um, you have cakes for your birthday, but you take those two words and put those together and you make a unique word and it is called a pancakes, which that is what is stacked right here. A stack of pancakes with maybe some butter and some syrup right there. Ooh, yummy. I'm ready for breakfast already. All right. And this one, this word is dog house. There's a picture of a house but it's actually called a dog house because it's little tiny, something that a dog can stay in outside. You know what a dog is. It's a four legged uh, animal. Miss Proctor has a dog. His name is Shiloh, he likes to bark a lot. And then you have a house. You put those two together and it's a unique word for dog house. All right, so this is the fun part. This is where your I can statement comes in, okay? So you guys are going to take a piece of paper and you have a piece of paper and you're going to fold it where it meets in the middle, okay? So you're just gonna, it's almost like a little door open, right? You fold it. Then you're going to take that piece of paper and you're actually gonna just draw two lines. One here and then skip about maybe a finger length and then draw another line across. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your scissors. If you don't have scissors, um, you can, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the scissors and you're just gonna cut on that line right there. You're gonna cut on this line right here. Don't go past the little uh, part that fold, the paper folds. If you don't have scissors, it's okay. Ms. Proctor will show you a little trick. You take your fingers and you just carefully, really slowly, tear the paper on that line. And if it comes off the line a little bit, it's okay. It still tears. Let's do this next one. So you're going to take your fingers and just kind of slow. If you do it super fast, you'll, you'll mess up. I'm just going to slowly tear on, let's see if we can get this, see what Miss Proctor is doing, tear on that line. So you can see Miss Proctor used um, just her fingers to tear the piece of paper. Now what I have is I have created a flip book so we can actually open it up like this, see? So what you're going to do is you're going to have your little book and you are going to create your own words. Try to come up with different compound words 
other than the ones that you have seen in this video and the ones that you see on the screen right now. The ones on the screen are rainbow, sunflower, cupcake, oh, that's a good one, and pancake. Now, if you notice, they drew a picture on the board. Pay attention to the photos. They drew a picture of rain, and they drew a picture of a bow. And so what's going to happen is when you open it up, you'll draw a picture and write the compound word in the center, okay? Just like the example up on the board, they actually, when you open it up, you'll see a picture of rainbow, the word written out together, and then a picture of a rainbow. Uh, sun. They drew a picture of sun. They drew a picture of a flower. But when you open it up, you'll see the word sunflower and you'll have a unique type of flower, the yellow with the black or brown dot in it. So come up with some unique compound words, words that we have not even used in this and take a picture of it, of your flip book with your words and then your compound word in the center. Make sure you illustrate it and send it to Miss Proctor. Take a picture of it and send it to me. I hope you guys have a great learning day, and I'll see you next time.